Scorpio, this is going to be your weekly reading for the week of the 11th going to the 17th of January. I'm excited to see what comes out for you guys, so we'll have a little look. My background has changed yet again, but it's okay. I'll be going back to my other one soon enough, um, just for today. So yeah, let me go into it. The first thing I'm going to say in this in the description box, Scorpio, there is going to be an email specifically for questions if you have any. It's not going to be to do with tarot, but it is to do with life advice. So feel free to send your situations in, your questions and what you would need help in. Um, and I'm going to be answering those on a podcast eventually. You will see them very soon. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of a heads up, I'm answering questions. So uh, feel free to do that, to send that in so you can, um, yeah just get some advice it's always good it's always it's free so what what have you got to lose scorpio but apart from that i'm gonna go straight into the reading and see what's coming out for you guys so i do feel there is a lot of transformation coming through energetically and i'm not sure if that's just because of the new beginnings because it's a new year and everyone's on that kind of wavelength but i feel like the universe has something hidden from everybody it could be a bit of a surprise um i don't know whether it's a good thing or a bad thing but ultimately it's gonna cause a big stir in the pot here um which could be good for some bad for others as everything is the yin and the yang um but yeah i just feel like there's something that you don't see scorpio it's for like waving it's right in front of you but you don't see it what's that mean something is right in front of you but you're not seeing it We'll see what that means, hopefully. Right, the two cards that you have out, my angels, and the one, what, what you don't see. Oh my god, I should have showed you. This was like that, and I was like, I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be facing up. And I turn it around. What you don't see is this new life. So interesting. This is something to do with you waking up. And, and so you've been doing changes, Scorpio. You've been transforming yourself as you do. Uh, as you do, because you're a phoenix, right? Um... There's something coming in that you're going to have what it is that you've been working for right in front of you. It's like, it's right in front of you. Again, it's just waving at you here. It's like, you may have forgotten about it. You know, when you just add something to your routine, you've been working day in, day out for it, Scorpio. And all of a sudden it's right there. And, and because you've been working so hard, because you've been doing so many different things, you, you didn't see it yet. You're going to stumble across something that is right in front of you. Anyways, and it's very likely to do with this new life. Anyways. The cards that you have out is no place like home. So this is a very big card, as you may know, really about keeping to yourself within this week. You are going to be either, you know, diving into work, into contracts, into balancing things out. So making sure that your work and personal life is, is balanced. Um, again, I'm feeling like you're in the middle of a flow that you're not going to quite see everything just yet. But by the end of the week, uh, it is a busy week for you guys. I will just reiterate that it's a busy week for you guys but you aren't going to realize that something is going to be happening within this week but you'll see it by the end of it and it feels like quite a good thing um we also have the to be fair card which is that balance that i'm talking about you know this is libran energy as well which is ultimately also venusian so lots of love could be coming in for you guys it could be understanding that a love part like a loved one is right in front of you and has been there the whole time so some of you could be getting into relationships by the end of the week but I feel like the most important thing is that you're by yourself or really focusing on your own energy right now. That no place like home always indicates to me that currently the people around us are in this darker theme. You know, uh, we're attracting in a lot of low vibe energy and, you know, people who haven't got the best of intentions or aren't quite, you know, worthy of your value. So we'll say it will be big headed Scorpio this week and really be honest there are a lot of people around you that don't deserve you and you're understanding that within this week and because of that you're understanding that you're really around um keeping to yourself is helping you to elevate it's helping you to attract more people who are like-minded to you uh so you're in this lighter uh energy here as well okay so without realizing it the more that you're keeping to yourself is the more that you're raising your frequency and the more that you're inviting new people into your life but to be fair you're understanding who's right and who's wrong for you uh whether that is looking into past and understanding that uh because we do have this fortune cookie in this one i don't know if you can see it but this is uh, resembled on one of the other cards as the not for you card right so someone playing games and understanding a bit better about what you're leaving behind just wasn't fit for you and that's okay regardless of whether it was like a two-year relationship 10-year relationship or a two-month relationship you're understanding a little bit better but oh my god is that a feather where the heck did that come from did that just fall into my lap what the heck 
It is a feather. A really nice sight. I don't know if you, I don't know if you can see it. It's a nice little feather here. What the? Miracles. Um, yeah, or if it's just a two-month relationship, either way, you're understanding this person just not right for me. You're understanding now your value, and you're understanding also that that's okay. Maybe before in a past here, Scorpio, which you tend to be quite, you have an obsessive personality, which is fine. Don't worry, I'm Scorpio, Moon and Rising too. I understand. Like sometimes you can really attach to things quite easily. You're kind of understanding your worth a lot more now, so that when you understand when something's not good for you, it's it's like okay, well that's fine. That's equal. That's balanced. That's a, a legitimate answer. I don't need to hold on to it anymore because that we're letting go. Five and a, uh, zeros of five as about changes. We're making the right changes by keeping to ourselves a lot more than giving to these people that don't deserve our energy anymore. We have a three and an eight here as well, which is eight is about karmic change. So again, this is something that is going to be happening and divine to happen. Three is aligning to ourselves to our true self. So again, understanding your purpose, understanding that these changes are just right to happen anyways. A three and an eight is also an 11, which is also a magical number about wish fulfillment for me, but it goes back to a two. So holding on to spirit also. So working hand in hand with your higher self, very similar to Cancer's message here. So maybe that reading could resonate for you as well. Um, Things feel right this week. Feel, things, you're feeling yourself. I promise you, within this week, you're feeling yourself here, uh, Scorpio. Just because it's just... I don't know how to describe it. It's like, you're doing things the right way. And has it been that long since you've done the right thing? Scorpio, like, maybe the answers just finally make sense. It's, it's weird. It just feels right to keep to yourself. You're feeling yourself. This is a value that you've always had, but you've only just realized it. Right. I'm going to get you three themes for the week that we need to focus on right Pisces had this two transformation literally really about spreading our wings here and, and um the butterfly energy every time it comes up I just feel the need to explain to you guys what it really means uh very much very similar to phoenix rising to go from a caterpillar to a butterfly so to transform yourself Scorpio you're understanding a bit better that there is some internal work that needs to happen there's something to do with how you perceive things how you're doing things that needs to change the transformation card um again butterfly the caterpillar actually turns itself into um a cocoon well puts itself in a cocoon to turn itself into a butterfly sorry i'm getting distracted so um the energy behind this is you're understanding that it's not going to work in just a day it's going to move forward for you eventually by making these changes today My dog is barking and I don't know why. <laughs> uh, let's see. Two more, please, for Scorpio. Passion. Oof, oof, oof. I feel twin flame vibes from this. I don't say it a lot. I'm going to leave it as that. I don't want to talk about twin flames. What I am going to talk about is this passion for life, this flair for life. Um, and I think for a lot of you, you are really getting a lot more courage moving forward uh, when it comes down to this. And again, that fire, Phoenix Rising, telling you this now, it feels really strong here. You are transforming yourself, which I like and I love. Ooh, travel. Okay. Are we thinking about traveling, guys? This is really nice. This reminds me of the Hermit, though, which is interesting. So for a lot of you, could be looking uh, in the future for travel. Um, hermit is kind of about looking at the path ahead and where you want to go and what you want to do. So for a lot of you, you're making travel plans. You could be saving for travel just, just in case. <laughs> just in case we're allowed to, you know, move outside of our houses here. This also reminds me of the Six of Swords. So maybe this is like a spiritual pursuit. For a lot of you, this could be, you know, just an escapism, right? Moving hometowns. This could be literally not just travel but moving homes um and this is really going to be something that's going to help you along your spiritual development okay and this is it's always the scorpios that just torch everything and just like move to a complete different place because that's just you guys <laughs> it's this phoenix rising energy it's transformation you just want a new start brand new fresh beginning and um this is the start of something amazing and it may take a while for you to get to this point of travel unless you are traveling this week it might get it may get you it may take you a while to get where you want to go so you can live this life and have the spiritual pursuit or again understand yourself on a deeper level and become someone completely new transformed and fresh um but right now we're planning on it we're planning on this change which i actually kind of like underneath that way we do have commitment here oh commitment to well-being okay this is nice 
Um, this could be adding more meditation to your routine. I'm hearing specifically guided meditation might help you, especially if you're quite new to it. Um, but this is really about uh, love too, all right? Bringing well-being into love. You might have had very damaging relationships in the past, Scorpio, and you're now adding to your requirements of a love relationship that this person has to feed the good side of you not the bad wolf right it's reminding me of that story um of that you know uh, the white wolf and the the dark the black wolf here the light and the dark it's one is a good wolf right it's about you know love hope faith positivity and one's literally negativity darkness fears doubt uh, and they say that both of these wolves live inside you, Scorpio, but it depends which ones you feed is the one that wins the, the war, right? Um, inside of you. So again, yin and yang is really a big, strong energy within you. So if people are feeding that dark wolf of doubt, insecurity, fear, negativity within you, then they're bringing out the wrong side of you and they're feeding the wrong side of you. And you may even in the past have noticed that some people just, I don't know, like fed or even maybe... maybe yeah so brought out a side of you that you did not like scorpio um but now that we're feeding the good wolf the wolf of hope and faith and positivity and light um is it time that we're noticing this change within us and i think that you're no longer settling for darker energies anymore okay i like that right let's see oh my goodness and this look i'm actually shuffling all these cards tell me there's no such thing as a coincidence here this is how they should be facing, right? The other way. Look what's coming up when I'm talking about darkness here. The devil? What? <laughs> really? Scorpio? Um, karma will happen to those who have done you wrong, but it's your time to stay out of it. The karma is not, you know, them sacrificing themselves to you and saying, Scorpio, you know, I've done you so wrong. Sometimes this, these people are so consumed in their own, at their own arse, basically, that they won't see you. Maybe that's the kind of people you dealt with, right? Anyways, let's see for you guys. We also have another one facing up. This is definitely a lot to do with relationships. Could be a Libra, <laughs> Scorpio or Capricorn that you were dealing with. Uh, again, karma, justice, balance. It will be on your side, but stay out of it. Depends which one you feed, remember? Right. Let's see for my Scorpios what's happening this week. Okay, let's see. Oof, the world, the world card. This is really about new beginnings. It's about change. This is an ending to conflict and the beginning of something fresh. I feel like fresh air. Maybe we need fresh air, but it's going to be quite good for your lungs. It feels nice when you breathe in fresh air. Um, don't know what they mean by that. I would also say stop smoking, Scorpio. They're saying that stop smoking. Um, it's not good for you. It's really, really, I mean, everyone knows that, right? It's on the packets, but they're, they're reiterating that. If you want to step into alignment with your best self, get out of these negative habits it will take you a while again as i said the transformation card saying that it does rome was not built in a day as scorpio uh but this is saying that we need to kind of let go of these things now in order to become that higher higher frequency self okay um this is also talking about your looks changing as well you know your style could be changing the way that you dress the way that you feel about yourself the world card brings in these new changes here the way that you also tackle projects again within this week you're going to find yourself very busy um, and you're just suddenly just doing things. Everything that you was really forcing yourself to do in the past, we've kind of elevated now, Scorpio. That these things become easy, but we don't even realize that we're making progress. Like, I'm just seeing you head down in your work, doing things, tackling all these things, not thinking about things anymore. For some of you, a breakup may have happened quite recently or again, you're trying to stay out of your mind so much that you're diving into work or diving into something else. Um, that you're making progress because of this, like this passion that just comes in, this fiery energy that comes in, it is causing you to just do rather than think, which in this case, things it feels quite nice because maybe you've been thinking for far too long. That scared me. I don't know what that high pitched noise was. Um, right, let's see. We also have the five of cups. Okay, all right, two more cards wanted to come out. Three more cards wanted to come out. Uh huh. The only reason I say that is because we are still upset about someone or something in our life. And this could be something that we're trying to stay away from thinking about. I was going to call you cancer there. It's only because it's quite similar. Five of Cups is looking at the negative side of things. Uh, one thing I was saying to cancer so that you guys can be aware of it because it's, it's slightly similar, these two cards. Um, and I'll show you them actually before people start moaning at me. 
um, yeah, petty Zeta coming in, it's true. Uh, the Five of Cups is known to be a card of where we're looking so much at what is spilt, we're kind of forgetting that there is still two cups left, which is, uh, they both indicate love. There is still love around you. Just because someone could not love you in your past, Scorpio, does not mean that you will never find it. In fact, you don't want it from this person anyways, trust me. They are showing up as the Seven of Swords, we also have the Page of Swords there too. This person and what they have said and done to you needs to be let go of. And I was saying this to someone today, actually, in the personal readings, I think, of like, why should someone like that have full control of your life? If you look back in the future and go, I let this son of a bit, oh no, that's actually a really rude fat like thing to say. Do you guys swear like that? Man. Um, why would I let someone like that ruin my life? Why would I let someone like that ruin my life? Seriously? Think about it because that's what we do sometimes when we hold on to things and we think about it so much and every day it's hard to forget we literally let them ruin our lives because we're so busy thinking about it and we you know self-sabotage because of it too which also could be the reason why the seven of swords uh, comes up here about self-sabotaging because we're looking too much at what has already happened what the things that we cannot change i can't stop the fact that these three cups are spilt but what i can do is take the two cups and go elsewhere travel, do, live my life, you know, uh, there's an energy here to not let these kinds of people bring you down, and it's difficult, I understand it, they've done you wrong, for a lot of you here, um, Scorpio, especially the Page of Swords, they've said some horrible things to you, made you doubt yourself, I feel like a twisting of the mind here, you ugh, don't like this person, Scorpio, who have we dealt with in the past, Today, whenever I'm so casual, I swear, I feel the energy so much more strongly. I'm like a theatrical, you know, performance here. Page of Swords. Manipulator, narcissist. Uh, uh, ugh. This person twisted everything. I just feel like the point of this person, like, you... You liar, you absolute, I don't even want to get into it. This person, I can feel what happened between the two of you, huh? Um, they tried to blame you for why they did things to you, Scorpio. What the fuck? Sorry, I'm going to swear in this, but, you know, if you don't like it, click off and don't tell me about it because I don't, I don't care whether you like me swearing or not, okay? I don't do it often. <laughs> I'm a human being, please. Um, ten of Swords, Ten of uh, Wands, sorry. Let this person go. Let them carry the weight of the world on their shoulders if they want to. This person is trying to go through life in a very difficult way. Their life could be a lot easier, Scorpion. That's probably what he was trying to help them with. They don't want to. This person likes to be this way. For some reason, for some reason, they're so absorbed in the darkness here and in their own thought space. Um, you know, sometimes people like their life being difficult because that's all they know. Uh, and this person is not likely to change for you because they haven't already. If they wanted to, they would have. Uh, which is why we let this go. You have done, which I'm amazed about. I love it, okay? They are still on your mind, but again, do not let this kind of person... It's laughable, actually. Like, not for you, like not at you, at this person. Like, don't let this kind of person ruin your life because they want to ruin theirs. It's, you're two very different people. Don't go down their route. It's the lesson behind this here. Uh, the great thing is underneath the deck we have the ooh, amazing cards here. We have the Wheel of Fortune. We have the, um, I wanted to say Emperor. There's Emperor vibes coming in. So some of you guys could be starting your own business. You could be bringing an idea to life, building structure, being more organized again. You have your crap sorted this week where you're building on something here. You're really, really, um, yeah, just getting yourself together. I like it. Scorpio, I'm impressed. Wheel of Fortune, good things are coming because you're taking a leap of faith and doing new things. Chariot card energy as well, but becoming a lot more balanced. And because it is, I mean, the Emperor is in a chariot, which makes a lot of sense now. Um, so this is really about being determined on moving forward and away from the past. And because of this, you're bringing in, I want to say all the elements. You're bringing in finances and structure and stability. You're bringing in new love. Okay, this thing. Okay, oh, I like it. Okay, this year is very good for you guys, Scorpio. Right, autumn time. You are going to find a love interest, I would say, around, um, when is autumn? Autumn's like, just after September, right? <laughs> August is like, August time to like November? I don't know. Around that time, love is coming in. This is also quite good for your self-love too and then the abundance coming in. Um, I will say... Springtime feels like there's going to be some uh, clearer ideas on where it is that you're going, especially when it comes down to like, contracts or what you're trying to bring to life. Uh, a lot more clarity is coming in as well. So you might even discover the truth of some people's motives 
you may know that already but trust me there could be some more people around you that there's clarity coming in and truth coming in around spring uh summertime it feels like in summer there's two things coming through which is interesting uh which is finances and career success which is nice so love that energy and this is what we're bringing in because of a leap of faith and a new atmosphere atmosphere well maybe an attitude that we're bringing in to this week which i love okay um, I'm going to see what's going on for you guys in your animal spirit deck. But yeah, let's see. Ooh, dolphin spirit. Okay, so the dolphin spirit is not only great for intuition, um, it's a number 20 as well. So judgment, so letting go, moving forward. Uh, this is all full, full clarity. Uh, the dolphin spirit says this and that are true. And I'm going to read it out for you. Uh, but the ultimate message behind it is that there is a right and wrong in both stories. There's Both of them are the truth. So this person may think that you're a problem and maybe they are true within that because that's all they can see. But you can also see a little bit more than this person, whoever this is, right? They're, they're a bit closed-minded. Anyways, if I can get it up. The dolphin spirit says that there are true two truths and you're not wrong you're not right either but you're well yeah i guess you're right I, don't worry about me listen to the card <laughs> who knows that is on a weird one today so dolphin spirit like her earthly manifestation is a reminder of duality as a dolphin is both mammal and sea creature so too is dolphin spirit both this and that two truths coexist the story you tell and another as well. The duality of life is present when we are suffering for there is a blessing too and then helpers that appear. Within clouds are silver linings. Within clouds are silver linings when we later reflect. Okay, I see what they're trying to say here. When we later reflect on what happened, we can see that a situation was both this and that and a choice led to both joy and sorrow. So obviously this was a relationship that had positives and it did bring love into your life and you did love this person and they did love you. But there was also a really negative thing about this relationship that we're understanding is both of them are true. It was a horrible relationship in your life, but it was probably quite a good time for you at the time too. So you're understanding things on a deeper level with like that. This is why we are able to move forward from it and reconcile with it. Um, no relationship is either all good or all bad and people have qualities for both light and shadow. Focus on the positive for light exists alongside the darkness. Dolphin spirit calls for you to come up from below and enjoy a weightless moment in the sun as you dive in and out of this and then that, accepting and even enjoying the duality of life. Why not join the dolphin spirit in acknowledging and affirming that blessings are present in this moment in all that... In all areas of your life, there are aspects of both this and that. Today, you can celebrate this fact and recognize the complexity and the beauty of the fabric of the universe. You are at a place right now where your past self is still present as you move towards the new self that you're becoming, that you don't realize is happening, by the way. You're already changing. It's already happening. You're going to wake up one day, literally. It's weird because as much as we have that, there is almost... You're so busy that you don't even realize that a seed that you planted before is... is coming to life right in front of your eyes um yes and what you want oh, wait 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 wait. aspects of both styles are present so even if you want to say goodbye to what was you are required to find solace in this between time today is not a day to choose one over the other but rather to accept things as they are without judgment or resistance even in matters of the heart duality is present your next action will be obvious when you drop your bias and see things as a whole that's all i have for you scorpio um i really do wish you the best within this week it feels very big for your personal growth and it feels like what is to come is going to be amazing really a lot of success is happening within this uh, year but again dolphin spirit i'm gonna listen to it too when it says both this and that are true. Yes, there's going to be negatives, but there's four major things happening for you guys this year, covering all areas of your life that's going to give you some new aspects and new beginnings, which is going to be ultimately amazing. So I wish you the best. I wish you the best. Again, just to clarify, if there are any questions that you guys would like answered without tarot, just life advice from me, um, then I will be having, I've got an email in my description box that is linked below. Uh, that you can go to to ask questions uh, and I will answer them for you as well. So I will see you guys very soon. I wish you all the best and I'll see you next week.